Things are really picking up here, Todd. In fact, just a few seconds ago, we saw a real nasty cloud to ground lightning strike here from our West Des Moines camera out here in the far western suburbs. This storm is a prolific lightning producer that's coming into the west side of the metro right now. The shelf cloud, the mean looking clouds that everybody likes to take pictures of, those are that's right above the camera here out on the west side. That camera is basically right at the uh, right around the West Mixmaster. The storm itself still out in Dallas County, just coming into the uh, Waukee area, Dallas Center. It's already raining and are about to wrap up raining in Adele, DeSoto up towards Minburn and then coming into the west side of also uh, extreme western West Des Moines here too. This storm is warned. A severe thunderstorm warning is still in effect for another 13 minutes or so until 930. But as you can see, the uh, warning box, the storm's about to outrun the actual warning here before too long. It's going to be gone and going to be or the storm is going to be moving out of the warning and farther east. So we'll see if the weather service decides to issue a new warning. The main threats here are some 60 mile per hour wind gusts. But like we mentioned a little bit earlier, we haven't seen a lot of these gusts recently, and I was just checking some of the wind data off screen a short time ago, and it doesn't look as nasty as it did earlier. So I'd say right now, prolific lightning, some heavy downpours with this line of storms moving through parts of Dallas and Madison counties, and that's probably the main deal at this moment. But make sure you're you know, staying inside for the time being because there's a lot of lightning as there could be some heavy rain moving through. Farther south, this other warning is also in effect at this time in down into parts of southwest Iowa, Union County, Creston, east of Corning, north and east of uh, Bedford towards the Lenox area. That's moving off to sort of the northeast. In fact, we'll just put all these storms in motion so you can see where they're going right now. That Boeing segment just on the west side of the metro, that's moving basically east to a little bit northeast. And then this other section of the storms down farther southwest, that's basically moving northeast, sort of following it. And then if you go farther north, you don't see as much action. One little storm in southern Webster County, one just to the south, it looks like south and west of Rockwell City. Those are not severe, though. So this is the main show for the time being. Now, there is a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for south central Iowa until 2 a.m. tonight. A couple of more cells could produce a few wind gusts, maybe a couple of hailstones, but there's a much higher level severe weather threat as I step off screen as you come up towards Tuesday this week. Tomorrow night, there could be a couple of more stronger storms, but nothing crazy. It's mainly Tuesday that we're looking at here over the next few days. Big picture wise right now, there are some nasty storms down in Kansas. Going to probably be some 80 plus mile per hour wind gusts down to the south and west of the Kansas City Metro and east of Wichita. Up here to the north, we aren't going to have that strong winds, but maybe a couple of 60 mile per hour wind gusts still possible over the next few hours. Again, that watch goes till 2 a.m. Storms mostly non severe later than that will continue into early tomorrow morning and then watch as we go through the day on your Monday skies are going to dry out. There is going to be a boundary that sets up somewhere in northwest Iowa. I think kind of in that line south of Sioux City over towards Mason City and that area will probably light up with storms again tomorrow night. Some of those will move across the state into the early morning hours of Tuesday. Now the farther we get out, the more lines of storms we go past, the less certain we are because it's kind of like dominoes. Each one affects the other and if it happens a little bit differently than we forecast that kind of messes up the forecast later on. So what I'm telling you here is though we're going to have storms into early Tuesday and the main threat we're watching for is later Tuesday afternoon as a, another line of storm sets up. Tornadoes, wind, hail, all that are possible. Level three risk is out for most of the state right now. Tuesday afternoon into the evening. We're going to keep an eye on this as we get a little bit closer. So Tuesday's the day to watch. There will be some more storms though tonight and into tomorrow night. The eight day forecast then quiets down after that. Wednesday's breezier, cooler, sunnier. Thursday's dry. Next chance of storms is this coming Friday.